Okay, question 21 is about equations of straight lines and it asks us to show that length OB equals length AB. Now what I'm going to do for the time being is I'm going to just work on uh, this page so you can see what I'm doing each time. So I'll work on this front page. Right, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to label the equations. We'll call this one why it was 2x equation 1. Uh, this one, 2y equals 11x minus 7, equation 2, and x plus 3y equals 0, call it equation 3. Uh, we have the coordinates at this point. Uh, the origin is 0, 0. Let's try and find the coordinates at this point. The reason why we're doing this is because when it says the question, show that length OB equals length AB, we're trying to find the length, and that usually means Pythagoras theorem. So before we find the length, we need to find the coordinates. And to find the coordinates, we need to use simultaneous equations. So we'll find this point first. So simultaneous equations are y equals 2x, that's equation 1. y equals 2x, equation 1. And equation 2, 2y equals 11x minus 7, that's equation 2. Let's substitute equation 1 into 2 so that we can find the values. So whenever we say a y, we'll replace it with 2x. So we've got 2 brackets, 2x equals 11x minus 7. That becomes 4x equals 11x minus 7. We'll take this, the negative 7 over and the 4x over. So we've got 7 equals 7x. Divide by 7, we've got 1 equals x. Right, let's uh, substitute it back into the easiest equation, which is equation 1. So whenever we see an x, we replace it with 1. 2 times 1 is 2. So y equals 2. That's the first one. Now let's look at equation 2 and 3 to find the coordinates of a. Uh, I'll put the coordinates of this one in. b, we've found that now, is... 1, 2. We're trying to find the coordinates of A. So let's look at this one. Equation 2 is 2y equals 11x minus 7. Equation 3, x plus 3y equals 0. That's equation 2 and equation 3. What I'll do is I'll rearrange equation 3 to make it get x the subject. x equals negative 3y and make that equation 4 and now I will substitute equation substitute 4 into 2 so whenever I say x I replace it with minus 3y so I've got 2y equals 11x in this case x is minus 3y minus 7 2y equals 11 times minus 3 is minus 33y minus 7. We'll take the minus 33y over to make 35y equals minus 7. Let's divide by 35, so we'll get y equals minus 7 over 35. And 7 goes into 35 5 times, so it equals minus 1 fifth. That's the y coordinate. Now let's substitute that into the easiest equation uh, to find the x value and it's equation 4. So we get substitute into 4. So we'll get x equals minus 3 times minus 1 fifth which minus times a minus is a plus and 3 times 1 fifth is 3 fifths. So we've got x equals 3 fifths. Uh, let's put that one here. We've got uh, x is 3 fifths and y is minus 1 fifth. So now we've got all the coordinates that we need. So now we can just form right angle triangles and find the lengths of the sides. Now what I'll do is I'll transfer back over to this sheet now. I'll put the coordinates that were given. We've got O is 0, 0. We've got uh, B is 1, 2, and we've got A is 3 fifths and 
negative one fifth. Right, and it said, the question says, show that length OB equals length AB. So let's form two right angle triangles. So we can use Pythagoras theorem. We've got O and B's there. O, B's there. And let's look at another right angle triangle. We've got A and B there. A and B there. Let's put the coordinates in. O is not naught. B is 1, 2. B once again is 1, 2. And A is 3 fifths. Oops, comma, negative 1 fifth. Right, let's find the lengths now of the sides. The change in y from 2 to 0 is 2. Change in x from 0 to 1 is 1. This one. Uh, change in y from 2 to ne negative 1 fifth. When it's that, we add them, remember. 2 add 1 fifth, so that's 2 and 1 fifth. And I'm going to make that an improper fraction. 2 times 5 is 10, add 1 is 11 over 5. Then 3 fifths to 1 is 2 fifths. So now all we have to do is find the hypotenuse each time and see if they are the same length. So let's look at this one. OB squared equals 2 squared plus 1 squared. OB equals the square root of 2 squared plus 1 squared. OB equals the square root of 2 twos of 4. 1 1 is 1, so it's square root of 5. So we found that one. Let's have a look at this one. AB. AB squared equals 11 over 5 all squared. Remember it's the whole thing squared, not just the 11. Plus 2 fifths all squared. AB equals the square root of 11 fifths all squared plus 2 fifths all squared. Let's just do this on the calculator now. I've got, oops, that there. Uh, right, square root, fraction button, and then, the, sorry, brackets button, then the fraction button. Let's put 11 fifths in. 11, use the replay button down to go down to the 5, close the bracket, x squared button squares everything plus open the brackets again then the fraction button then 2 replay down to 5 close the brackets then square everything by pressing the x square button and press equals and as you can see we get root 5 so a b equals root 5 then we'll finish off by saying because it says show that length OB equals length AB hence OB equals AB and that's it